month's orders are packed in the delivery bay and ready to go. Let's do our inventory checks for next month. Hiring and the pay's pretty good. I'm sure it is. They're going toe to toe with a group of activists right now. Lamb to mankind. If I were you, I'd stay here. Keep your head down. announcement about their new biofuel they say they're going green by the end of the year the only thing green about that fuel is the label it's the same shit with new branding a marketing stunt they're not running the most attractive operation here I mean, they're pumping out weapons for Endrin, not selling timeshares. Looks probably aren't their priority. I made it to the delivery bay. Good. See that command post next to the gate? You should be able to open things up for me from there. I made it to the delivery bay. Good. See that command post next to the gate? You should be able to open things up for me from there.
Dusk, you're up. On it. Once I've got their attention, you go find what we came for and slap on this fancy new delivery label. Got it? I'm just here for a pickup, man. Pickup? What are you talking about? What? There's no well, pickup on the schedule. Take it out, no, quick! Check. Dusk, you're up. On it. Once I've got their attention, you go find what we came for and slap on this fancy new delivery label. Got it? Hey, you in the truck. What are you doing here? I'm just here for a pickup, man. Pickup? What are you talking about? There's no pickup on the schedule. Well, check it again. I, I gotta be honest. to search that truck. Then we'll see about that pickup. Knock yourself out, bud. According to the intel we received, the crates of explosives should be stored around here. All right, Dusk. The delivery label's been switched. Time for us to get the hell out of Dodge. Wait, I smell something. Give me a minute to check it out. I knew I smelled it. Silver. Whoever ordered this intends to kill Garu. Dusk. They're shipping out silver bullets. You know what that means. Change of plans? Change of plans. I need to find out who's buying these bullets and why. Buy me some more time. while she's at it? You know what they say, the client is king, especially when the client's name is Endra. Shipment's loaded. How are things on your end? Shouldn't be much longer. waiting. A oh, paying, clearly. You're not getting anything until Endrin is paid up. You can tell that to your President Watkins in person. I don't think you understand what's at stake here. <laughs> oh, I understand that you've just been attacked and you're looking to hit back. I also understand that you need our ammunition to do that. 
And we've got that ammunition right downstairs. Ready and waiting to go. As soon as you've paid us. Sorry, Major. The business is business. Well, fuck you two. Then we'll attack Tarker's Mill without your help. And rest assured, Mr. Watkins will hear about this. Tarker's Mill. Hey. You and I need to talk. Who are you? How'd you get in? I'm asking the questions. Who are you talking to? The woman. And what's this attack on Tarker's Mill? I'm calling security. Now, die! Bollocks! Security! Alert! <laughs> Dusk. What the fuck are you doing, Go? I just had to pop a couple guards who wanted to put a bullet in my head. Get the fuck back here already. Sorry, but I didn't have a choice. Keep the engine running. We're out of here as soon as I get back. in the boss's office, but I'm not getting any response from that sector. Take your positions, people. Maximum alert until the situation's clear.
now. We got company.
Where are we headed? Tarker's Mill. do stop the truck what's even down there my home dusk stay out of this wait call Rodko Rodko they've cleared our northern line they have an exo we'll take care of the wounded later we have to stop them Let's go! Move! <laughs> Tell me, where's Adana? Don't worry, Cahal. Your daughter didn't fight this battle. How are your wounds? Riddled with silver. I'll take days to heal. But things would have been far worse if you hadn't stepped in. I just did what I had to do. Nothing more. I honestly never thought I'd see your face again. Why'd you come back, Cahal? I was worried about Adana. When I heard the Cairn was being targeted, I had to come back for her. You know I couldn't stay. Not after what I did to Rafiq. I told you that your rightful place was at my side. And what you had done could be forgiven. But no. You chose to abandon us. Me, the Cairn, your daughter. Where is she, Rodgo? With Ava. Working undercover at the biggest Indran site in the Pacific Northwest. The best option available to us after the failure of our last mission. Your last mission? What do you mean? You remember the old abandoned mine not far from here? Indran bought it and turned it into a training center for their new recruits. I launched an attack to wipe them out, but Tank Girl stopped us. The woman you saw in the exo during the attack, she drove us back. Tank girl, you call her. I encountered her during my last mission. She was trying to buy silver bullets from her arms dealer. That's where I learned she was planning an attack on the Cairn. Major Grainer. That's the name her men give her. But to us, she's Tank Girl. And she leads Endron's troops with about as much grace. Their attack on the Cairn was their first wave of revenge for our attack on the training center. We managed to repel them this time, but it's only a temporary victory. They might return at any moment, and Endrin just keeps recruiting soldiers. Then we've got to go back to the mine and destroy their training center. It's the only way to buy the Cairn any sort of safety, no matter how brief. 
Go back? No. Not until I'm well again. Then we can strike. Tell me about Adana. How have you trained her? Just as I promised you. I trained her to be a warrior. I taught her everything she needed to fight. To defend herself. So that we wouldn't see a repeat of what happened to Ludmilla. Has she gone through her first change yet? Not yet. And despite all my training, she never showed much inclination toward the wild side of things. She preferred to spend her time with Ava, studying humans, technology, and infiltration. To walk in Ludmilla's footsteps. That's right. And though it's not how I wanted to do things, it certainly paid off. She has proved to be an exceptional spy. Rest assured, though, Adan is just as much Garu as you or me. Her first change will come in time, no matter what path she chooses to take. Tell me about Ava. How's she doing? When you went into exile, she succeeded you as my lieutenant. She was ready and willing, but it was hardly a smooth transition. I was forced to make... Some concessions. I can imagine. There are a lot of humans in the Cairn. A lot more than when I was here. Ava's lamb to mankind. I'd heard about her group of activists. They're actually getting a lot of attention at the moment. Not sure if that's the best thing for the pack. That's what I thought too. At first. What do you mean? For the longest time, I never trusted humans. But then I saw how they fought. How they stood strong for what they believed in. I saw their potential. Even I had to admit that Ava was right. The humans have been stalwart allies in our fight for Gaia. And now you've seen firsthand what Indran is doing to us. Our ranks grow thinner every year. Ava's humans aren't afraid to put their lives on the line for the planet. What more could I ask for? Until I'm healed, there's no way we can make a move on the training center. I'll take care of that goddamn training center myself. You know I can handle it on my own. No. You're no longer a part of this pack. It's my responsibility. And how long will it take for you to get better? Days? Weeks? If they return, the cairn will fall. Huh. I'll think about it. Go pay your respects to your Fen and come back to me. Then we'll talk about the mine. in a bad way. Agnes didn't even know how to fight. He was a spirit healer, a caretaker of children. Endrin doesn't show anyone. It has been many a year since I last felt your presence. Warrior of Gaia. It's been nearly as long since anyone called me that. Your cairn needs you, and the wild has need of your protection. The Eater of Souls is fighting with all his might to take control of it. And he is winning. The corruption takes many forms, but the effects are always the same. You must help us fight back. I came back to find my daughter. Have you seen her? Ah, Madonna. A dear friend, 
and always respectful of nature. You fear for her safety then. She too is fighting for Gaia in her own way. But do not worry. You both walk the same path. You will find each other in time. To fight your battles, you will need power. Power I can provide by helping you develop your warrior gifts. Thank you, Ifen. You may find lost spirits during your travels. Return them to me, and I will be able to strengthen your natural abilities. One last request before you depart. Many of your kin fell in combat. I would ask you to bury them. You will find their bodies both inside and around the cairn. Your penumbra vision will show you the way. Soothe their souls and send them to me, so that they may travel to the wild without being captured by the worm. I will if I can. But my priority is Endrin's training center. Weaken the forces of the worm there, but never forget your brothers and sisters. Gaia needs you. Broncos changed his mind. But she was pregnant. They knew it too. The fuckers laughed about it as they did it. What about Xander, her husband? He saw it happen. They shot him right in the series. But how? She was in the back, tending to the wounded. It's all my fault. I went to see Fen. He's gotten so weak. Please, Rotko, let me help you. Let me deal with this training center. Why is it that you care now, Kahal? We were so easy to ignore when we went right in front of you. What? You want to be part of the pack again? I want to help the pack. I want to protect Adana. But you don't intend to rejoin us. I've already given into rage and killed one of our kin, Rotko. I can't take the risk of doing it again. You already know I disagree. Nonetheless, we are united by those we mourn. So I'll accept your help. So what can you tell me about this so-called training center? Ava managed to get a hold of the mine blueprints to help us prepare for our previous attack. The site's weak point is its power supply. They apparently haven't had the time to give it a proper upgrade. The whole thing is powered by one big propane tank, just like it was when it was a mine. I see. So if I blow up the tank, the whole mine will cave in, taking the training center with it. I am indeed. Your friend gave me the explosives that you stole as soon as he arrived. Dusk is here? Yeah. He arrived just after the attack. Don't worry. I asked the humans to look after him. We've still got a problem, though. You don't know the layout of the site, and I'm too injured to go with you. Huh. I don't like touching the stuff, but I suppose I'll use Ava's radio equipment to guide you. That should do the trick. Perfect. So we'll stay in radio contact. Take the explosives and go. Good luck, Kahal. Dusk, my friend, I owe you one. Go, Theodore, and 
survive. Leandra, be at peace. I will protect the cairn. Go to Ethan. Of course, Gaul. I'm glad I got to see you. One last time. I am wind. Your struggle is over. Ifen is waiting for you. Kahal. Keep fighting. Protect the Cairn for me. I need to enlist. Cost of the fine is always less than the cost of compliance. <laughs> Bingo. Won't see that one. You here to enlist? Yeah. Are you been having some trouble lately? You hear correctly. We were attacked a few days ago. We pushed them back, but let's just say we're a little understaffed right now. What's in this training program of yours anyway? That's classified. But those who survive their training become real killing machines. With real thick wallets, too. What do you say? You interested? Absolutely. That's the spirit. Did you register on our website? Nah, I prefer to do things in person. Can't say I blame you. What's your name? Kahal Fillin. Kahal Fillin. Hell of a name. There you go. You're on the list. All right, then. Go report to the instructor for testing. He's in the warehouse. Oh, and one last thing. Looking at you, it's pretty obvious you've done some time. Try not to mention that. The instructor hates ex-cons. This way. Control, I've got a candidate for you. Welcome. If you're looking to sign up, you have to talk to the instructor. Head over to that building in the courtyard. I'm here to be recruited. You! How'd you make it through the physical without breaking a hip? <sighs> All right, Gramps. Let me just find you on the list here. I signed up at the entrance. Kahal Fillin. Ah, right. Here you are. Now let's get down to business. You ready for the interview? 
I'm ready. Let's start with a technical question then. Our assault troops are equipped with a new type of pump-action rifle. What kind of sight is it equipped with? A laser sight. Wrong. They have a holographic sight. But I understand why you'd get that wrong, Grandpa. Back in your day, they probably still had bayonets. Let's talk Endrin now. The company has an internal motto for those in the know. Can you tell me what it is? A greener today for a brighter tomorrow. Look around, you dumbass. Do you think Endrin gives a shit about going green? That's just the swill we serve the masses. Okay, enough of this paper-pushing bullshit. I know a combat vet when I see one. Welcome to Endrin's training program. Head over to the waiting room. Someone will come get you new recruits in a few minutes. Understood. center is in the middle of an old mine. One of our officers should come by. See what's happening.
I'm in the mine. The propane tanks at the center of the site. There should be a service door that leads there. Major Grainer's offering a bonus for anyone who brings back one of their leaders' heads. Damn. Cross your fingers, we're gonna be part of the team for the next attack.
about to undergo a state of the art treatment. Anybody? Huh? Mm. Heads up, Pete! <laughs> 